Our in-depth coverage continues tonight. Last night on Eyewitness News at 11, we told you about a man from Dartmouth who works as a firefighter near the Navy Yard. Nicholas Hemingway's mother was still waiting to hear from him. Then tonight, we're happy to report that the mother and son have spoken and he is safe and sound. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Kennedy has that update from the mobile newsroom. Hours after texting her son Nicholas, who's a firefighter in the D.C. area, Maureen Hemingway finally heard back from him. She immediately hung up the phone with him to call Eyewitness News and spread the good word. Nicholas is okay. A little bit more of flexibility. Less than 24 hours ago, Dartmouth native Maureen Hemingway was emotional and anxious, knowing her son Nicholas was working as a firefighter and first responder during the Navy Yard shooting. The one he's at now in Bladensburg, which is, again, right down the road from the Naval Yard. And as soon as I saw that and I checked the map, I just, you know, you know, you did kind of the, oh, my God. As we first reported on Monday, Hemingway texted and called her son Nicholas right away. By the time her story aired on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11, she still hadn't heard from him. Finally, one hour later, a little after midnight, she received a text back from him telling his mom to stop worrying and that he was fine, but really tired. I send back a smiley face, happy mom. And that's, that's our communication. You know, that's, excuse me. Um, and that's how we end it all the time. So I am blessed. I am truly blessed. I couldn't ask for a, a better son. I couldn't ask for somebody to be more proud of. He's, um, he's doing it all on his own. Nicholas's mom tells us he plans on staying in the D.C. area to finish school and also continue work as a firefighter. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, Mark Kennedy, Eyewitness News.